Lady Colin Campbell has some comments about Meghan Markle's mum, Doria Ragland's mysterious absences in her updated book. Lady C writes in her updated book that Doria was a pothead and crackhead who used to smoke dope openly in front of the family and neighbours. In an excerpt of Lady Colin's royal book, the author writes of Doria's alleged prison time. There exists a record of one Doria Ragland who was sentenced for fraud in the Riverside County Court, California, case ID MS79453DR, as well as one Doria Lois Ragland with an offender ID of TS3664072049061. MS79453 D R2012154. But this author doesn't suggest that these individuals are the same Doria Ragland, who's Meghan's mother, and Thomas Markle Sr. has refrained over the years from violating his ex-wife's privacy, loyally refusing to discuss Doria's absence even with his other children. There's been speculation circulating about Doria's decade-long disappearance, suggesting that it might have been due to a prison sentence. Additionally, there's been a discovery of a registered address under the name Doria Ragland, with intriguing contents at the location. However, the crucial missing piece of evidence remains. Is this indeed the same Doria Ragland? On the online forum site Cora, royal fans are wondering whether or not Ragland's alleged prison time was the reason why Meghan Markle spent more time with her dad, Thomas Markle Sr., while she was growing up. For years, speculations about Doria's whereabouts have circulated, suggesting that she may have been spending time in prison, ranging from 2 to 10 years. However, this speculation fails to unravel the complete mystery surrounding her. She remains the quintessential grifter, a trait that she seemingly imparted to her daughter. In many ways, Doria mirrored Meghan's current persona. She aspired to marry a wealthy Caucasian man and was reputedly assertive in a pursuit of mingling with the A-list circles. Doria even attempted to cozy up to Ed O'Neill, the star of Married With Children. Doria worked as a makeup artist on the set of Married With Children, where fate brought her together with Thomas Markle. Their connection deepened when Thomas intervened in defence of a girl being mistreated by a director at a party she attended. Their union led to marriage and soon after Meghan was born. Doria also persuaded Thomas to establish a travel agency under his name, which she managed. Meghan enjoyed royal treatment within her family, her desires were promptly fulfilled. However, after Thomas's lottery windfall evaporated, Doria divorced him, exacerbating his struggles with alcohol. Leveraging his difficulties, she secured sole custody of Meghan. Additionally, Thomas encountered legal issues and Doria consistently prevailed in court battles against him. Meghan didn't want to meet her father. Thomas would contact them constantly, only wanting to see his daughter. Growing increasingly frustrated, Doria resolved to confront Thomas in prison. Her plan? She ceased paying taxes, hoping to shift the blame onto Thomas, since the travel agency operated under his name. Nevertheless, the scheme unraveled when the IRS caught up with her, resulting in a 15-year prison sentence. Thanks to the lawyer Thomas had enlisted for a defence, she ultimately served only four years. Consequently, Thomas was granted custody of Meghan. Doria's records were sealed, expunged or both in California. If sealed and expunged records are made public, the person or agency that made it public can be sued. This is why Lady C only points out that there are two records with the name Doria Ragland and doesn't claim that they're her. Tom Bauer makes a passing reference to a decade-long period during which Doria was noticeably absent from Meghan's life. Yet, he refrains from disclosing her whereabouts. In interviews, he implies knowledge of a location, but is unable to divulge it due to legal constraints.